welcome back to my channel. Today, let's talk about Amazon SNS, or also called Simple Notification Service. Basically, you'd want to use this if you want to broadcast one message out to multiple destinations. So I'll show you how to set this up in Java Spring. And we're going to basically set up an SNS topic and broadcast that out to multiple SQS queues. You'd want to do this so that way you can handle one event in multiple services in different ways because maybe one service needs to do something when that happens or another service needs to do something else. So let's go ahead and jump into the code now and if you have any questions, let me know. All right, to get this video started, you're going to need just a few different files. If you've seen my video for setting up SQS, that one will kind of be a precursor to this one. You don't have to go back to that one. But for this video, again, if we were going to use SNS, what I'm going to showcase is the ability to push those SNS messages over to one or more SQS queues. So your Docker Compose file will look something like this. And what this will allow you to do is configure your SNS with this db.json file, and you'll be able to configure your SQS with this elastic mq.config file. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the SQS configuration. So if you haven't seen the other video, what this is doing is you are setting up two queues that you will use. So we have Q1 and Q2. And then in the SNS file, you will see that we have topics because you're going to publish to a topic that the queues are subscribed to. So you can see here Q1 and Q2, and they are subscribed to test topic. So what this means is that when you publish to test topic, which if we had more, there would be potentially other queues you could tie to it. But when we publish to test topic, it's going to go to Q1 and Q2. And so then if we continue to the application YAML, I'm just going to be able to set up the names of my queues. This is completely optional. This is just something I like to do to pass in my queue names, which you'll see here shortly, I'll use these. Now the SQS configuration file, this is what I'm using to configure my SQS queues. So I'm configuring it to point to the local host 9324 because I'm using Docker to fake the SQS queues. If you're actually connecting to real Amazon SQS queues, you wouldn't do this. And then I'm also configuring the message handler so that way I can have it load the notifications because the structure of the SNS messages is a little bit different. So you wanna be able to have a message converter that can actually look at the notifications properly. So uh, if you know what you're doing, you can kind of edit this. Otherwise I would suggest kind of using what I already have here. We also have a thread pool. So that way we have a thread pool looking at the messages as the listener. So allocating threads to again, listen for messages and the container, which has more configurations, which is passing in mostly the configurations above to your listener. So we go to queue configuration. This is the file that I use to be able to pass in the names of the queues and which you saw inside the application YAML. And then if we go to the sample listener, now you will see how I am actually popping the values into the listener so that way I can change the names of the queues. If I had multiple YAML files per environment, I would be able to set them in each YAML, it makes it a lot more flexible. The deletion policy is just saying that every time we get a message, we're always going to delete it. There's other configurations you can use for this as well. And then I'm also going to log to the screen the message I received. That way we know that it's working. We can tell by just looking at the logs that when I push the SNS message, I actually got the message to both of these listeners, which is our intent because we're using the SNS to broadcast to a topic which more than one SQSQ we are listening to. And then I added this test controller to allow me to broadcast an SNS message to a topic. Right now it's just configured to just send to test topic. And then if I drill down in here into the SNS send message, you'll see here, this is what I'm using to actually send the message to the topic. So we are using the messaging template 
which is part of notification messaging template class. This is provided by Spring. So if we take a look at our POM file, this will show us the dependencies we added to be able to do that. So you'll want to have Cloud AWS messaging, and also you will want to make sure you have the Spring Cloud dependencies. Again, I would suggest that you just use what I have here unless you want to read up on it more. And again, some of these other dependencies are required. So since we're doing like a web server, you need Spring Boot Starter Web. And I like to use Lombok as a convenience to generate getters and setters, as well as where we saw required arg config. Sorry, required args constructor, which this just means that instead of using auto wired, we can do private final and then the name of the class that we want to auto wire in, but without having to use auto wired everywhere. So this is just, again, another convenience method. Let's also not forget that we need this SNS configuration file. This is how we are telling Spring that we want to use that SNS container that we've spun up, which will be on localhost 9911. Again, if you're connecting to actual AWS, you won't be using this. Depending on how you connect, there's different ways to do it. You can have it kind of auto connect by just removing both of these values and then it will automatically infer based on Amazon AWS credentials. But there's different ways to do this. So once you're ready to do that, I suggest uh, researching or if you have questions, just let me know. I've done it different ways depending on the project. And also we need to add the Amazon SNS being here into our notification messaging template. That way we can use this as a bean that we can wire in to send messages to our topics. Next, let's go ahead and spin up our Docker containers. So we'll go to terminal here and then docker compose up dash D. This is because that docker compose YAML is inside of the SNS directory. So as you can see, it started up the SQS and SNS containers. And to validate that, docker ps. Now you can see that they've been running and what ports they're on. And then let's go ahead and run our application. And now from here, I'm going to open up Postman so that way I can send messages to the topic, and then we'll see here in the logs that it received it on both queues. So now over here in Postman, we're gonna go ahead and send a message to our topic so that way we can see it get received by both queues that are listening to that topic. I've made it to where you can set the subject of the notification here. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll just change it. It was my subject, we'll call it new subject, and then the body of the message can be anything. I will just change this to, let's say, test message two, and I'll click send. And you can see that I got a 200 back. So let's go back to our application and see if our queues receive the message. And over here, now you can see that the subject was new subject as expected, because I set that value. And the message was test message two on the first queue and the second queue. And we can look at that over here in the listener. And you can see that it appears to have gotten everything as expected. So this shows you how you can set up an SNS topic and you can broadcast from that topic to queues that are subscribed to it. So it would be a little bit different if you're setting all this up inside of AWS, but you're still gonna use the same kind of classes here that Spring has provided. So what you could do is, again, you could set up these mock SNS and SQS containers. You could do all of your code ahead of time before actually connecting to real AWS services. And it should work the same way as long as you set it up properly in AWS where you know your topic and you make sure your queues are subscribed to that topic, then it should work just fine. And you would see that your messages make it over to your queues. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know please take a moment to like and subscribe for future content.